to establish contact with the mother through cellular interactions with the tropho trophectoderm and the uterine lining. Next slide. So the most common problems one sees, and this is in cows and sheep, in, in uh, goats and in mice, that there's fetal overgrowth, there's a defective placenta. And respiratory distress is a very common um, uh, symptom and abnormal heart and circulatory um, problems. So, and of course, those latter two are often the immediate cause of perinatal death of cloned animals. But you can end up may bleed to death when we uh, aspirate the follicle from the ovaries. Do you consent? Certainly there are difficulties. Certainly there are problems. But do we, we tend to be, we tend at least to preach that our cup is half full. You tend to preach that your cup is half empty. And we don't buy that. Therefore, this is a very important argument that needs to be made to the public and to everybody else around here to understand that this is what we're after. We obviously do not preach for a perfect world. You do. My understanding is that it occurs differently in different tissues at different times in development. And so to screen an early embryo... I want to remember, Professor, uh, President Bush, if the law against the, the clone is approved, it will be the return to the dark age, like Afghanistan, like the Taliban in Iran. Two choices. Um, now we have in Kentucky you do not get arrested for DUI based on circumstantial evidence therefore we cannot as scientists base make statements like that in the public saying that Severino and I cannot do this and they're basing all that on circumstantial evidence you just can't do that Oh, yes, 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 you guys, uh, get down, please. There is every reason to believe that if we continue to refine those technologies, and I think that it was also revealed very clearly this morning, we will get there because, very simply, it's a matter of determination, and I think we are determined to get there. Thank you for... So, today, I'm not saying that we should consider those defects, but we should concentrate on how to control the defects. And how can we control that in, is uh, indeed in working very hard in the preparation of those embryos. And I believe that we could spend 10, 20 years in improving the cloning of the sheep or the pigs or the cows or the mice without learning anything about the cloning of human. Because that Mr. President, what do you think of the Italian scientist that wants to clone a human being this fall? As you know, I supported the anti-cloning legislation in the Congress, and uh, I'll be making a statement about my views on how life and science should uh, interface uh, when I'm ready. 